You hit it, you spawned it. <clears throat> it's gonna die. I know I should have just did that. Dude. Uh, uh, that's exactly, was it? Yeah. It's like I hit exactly where I aimed. Because that grass in front of it was. No, blood was pumping out of it. Was it? Yeah. Well, so this grass out here is real tall and I couldn't get a good range. So I just ranged the grass and she was probably like. I thought like five yards on the back side, so the grass was 35, so I just uh, put it on like 37 or 38 and aimed just a little bit high. I probably shouldn't have aimed high, I should have just aimed right on. Yeah. If I did, it's either she's not going to die or she is from where I hit her, so she's either she's dead already or not going to die, so we're going to just go ahead and go up there and look, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Are you filming? Yeah. Well, ended up working out. This hog is actually a, a lot smaller than I thought. Oh, there's a piece of cactus. Watch it, son. Whoa. But, um, is it a he or she? It's a he. It's a she. Is it? It's a she. But, um, probably shot her like. I don't know what a hundred yards from here. Yeah, she kind of probably went like we're on like a major cliff right here. She probably went like 50 yards down there and uh, rolled, and a tree stopped her. But she didn't go nowhere. I must have hit that main vein and maybe the top of the lung, depending on which way the rod head opened, I guess. But that's uh, that's right where I was holding, exactly where I hit, pretty much. Because yeah. I mean, I explained it earlier how it was going down. Whenever you're hunting pigs in like this tall grass like this it, we get into that problem a lot like in the summertime at this place we hunt because the grass is real tall and it's hard to get a range so uh it's a little closer than i thought i thought she was a little farther that's uh pretty much the main reason why it happened but either way it worked out so i'm happy happy that's the first uh bow kill since i broke my arm yep Hopefully we'll get some more hogs or deer on the ground here pretty soon for you guys to watch. So see you next time.
be shooting some big, so. What's up? Alright guys, so we came out, got off work a little early today, so we busted butt to the barn uh, so we get set up, see if we can get some uh, an eight point that I've been hunting to come in. Um, set here, had a, a doe and a spike come in behind us at the same time and a pig ran up and kind of ran them off and he smelt us and took off and then uh, had a group of pigs come in, kind of a bunch of piglets, huh? They were decent size, they weren't bad. Uh, well, uh, there's a pretty cool white one out of the group, so I uh, picked him out and he kind of walked a little close to me whenever I was drawing back, so I had to kind of aim a little low. Uh, my pin was set for the feeder, so um, made a pretty good shot on him though, we think, so I'm going to try to go look for him. My arrow's right by the feeder. There's a lot of blood, so Let's check it out. hopefully it's a good shot. So really good blood. I oh, messed up the fletching. fletchings, yeah. but yep. Yeah. Opened up all the way. Yeah. Ooh. Told y'all I'd make it good. Someone big. It would help, but I have to hold the camera. Yeah. There she is. Right behind the shoulder. Look at that. Woo! Not bad. Good night. Yeah, very good night. We got some work to do. Get this pig out of here. Um, we were pretty quiet. I mean, we literally, she ran like 30 yards. So hopefully be back here in the morning. Logan's buck has been coming in. It's decent, decent. Uh, he's been coming in the evenings a lot more than the morning. So never know. But we're going to get this pig taken care of and be back for another video.